Welcome back to Fox and Friends First. 4.30 a.m. here on the East Coast. Uh, a shocking new warning from a retired top U.S. commander. American troops would be totally outnumbered and at risk of losing a war to North Korea's 1.2 million soldiers. This, as President Trump is set to make a major announcement regarding the rogue nation upon his return to the White House tomorrow. Here now to weigh in is former Assistant Vice Chief of Staff of the Air Force, retired Lieutenant General Richard Newton. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Appreciate your time. Good morning, Heather. So I want to get your response to this right off the top. We have this quote from this letter from the retired Lieutenant General uh, Jan Mark Julis. It says that the 28,500 U.S. Armed Forces personnel in South Korea are vastly outnumbered by North Korean forces. Unlike every conflict since the last Korean War, we will not be able to build up our forces prior to the start of hostilities. So. How much would that impact our ability to win any type of conflict against North Korea? Well, either first off, uh, Mark Jewis is a, is a, was an exceptional general officer and, and certainly is uh, uh, well experienced in the region. But uh, again, war with North Korea uh, would be catastrophic. Uh, but however, as Secretary Mattis has declared and our forces in the region now uh, point to, we will be ready uh, should war come. We don't want to fight there. Uh, we'd like diplomatic and economic efforts, obviously, to lead our national security efforts there. But to protect the American people and to protect our national security interests, should it come to that, uh, then I, we will be prepared. And I, I believe we will be uh, successful. Mm -hmm. So we have about, what, 1.3 million active military personnel and almost 1 million who are uh, reserve forces. So mm -hmm. all options on the table, the first being negotiation and diplomacy. Absolutely, Heather, and, and you've seen that played out, and particularly if you uh, obviously have been following very closely President Trump's trip uh, to the region. Uh, you know, a lot of diplomatic and a lot of economic uh, efforts have been put in place, but we do. We have actually 2.1 million men and women in uniform, as you mentioned, uh, uh, over 1 million on active duty, and then in the Guard and Reserve, but also in the region. We've got uh, now, for the first time uh, in, in 10 years or so, we've got three carrier battle groups steaming together. Uh, we've got, uh, again, three fighter wings on the peninsula. We've got 28,000 plus men and women serving in Korea. Uh, we also have continuous bomber presence uh, with B-1s, B-2s, and B-52s capability to fly 24-7 operations from Guam and so forth. And so we are demonstrating the capabilities uh, should our deterrence and should we not be able to dissuade uh, this evil dictator, Kim, uh, that there, there are ramifications for his uh, efforts to hurdle his country towards war, particularly yeah. as he begins to arm up and demonstrate that he's got nuclear capability and the delivery means to deliver those weapons. And, and I wanted to ask you, in terms of the military option, should it have to reach that point, is it even possible to point out a, I guess what could be referred to as less catastrophic military option that may be on the table? Yeah, Heather, I'm not going to get into some specifics, but there are a range of military options. Uh, there are also other capabilities to think of, not necessarily our traditional air forces and ground forces and our sea-based forces, but other capabilities that we have with a very capable intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities, cyber um, uh, from our space-based uh, capabilities and so forth. We do have the uh, capabilities in place. Mm -hmm. uh, we do also have the ability uh, that we've exercised with a very capable ally in the forces from South Korea. We have demonstrated we are exercising those forces, and I believe we, we would be ready. Yeah. Uh, and obviously the president we mentioned at the top of the segment is set to make what is being referred to as a big announcement regarding North Korea on Wednesday. Uh, you expect that to be you know, trade-related and more diplomacy? Absolutely. Again, the, the president and his administration uh, effectively are leading this effort with diplomatic and economic efforts. Uh, but again, though, uh, his job is to protect the American people. And right. he's clearly stated that, that all options are on the table. The United States does have the resolve. We do have the political will and we do have the capability. Should it come to this war, nobody wants this war at all. But should it come to that, I believe that we will be successful. Yeah, and efforts to protect Guam, Hawaii, the West Coast here in the United States. Absolutely. Well. Uh, Lieutenant Absolutely. General Newton, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your insight.